when you're looking at the uh, at the bottom of like your metal panel and you turn it up on the side you'll see these uh, open little notches uh, on the buttons and they're little clips that keep the uh, the plunger and the button and if you take the same tool that you use to open your, your case from the top and just kind of insert it into the button there and push in and up on these little tabs it'll start to slide the plunger up on the uh, on the top of the button and once you kind of get it going um, which man I tell you what I'm trying to do this with one hand right now it makes it nearly impossible um, yeah easier to do it there you go you push in and up on it then you can just grab it from the top side and pull it off and for the actual micro switch you've got these little tabs that are well you can't really point to them there but you can kind of see them on the side right there there's one on either side and what you need to do is just grab a hold of the micro switch and push in on that little tab and push it into the button and you'll get one side kind of going and then just push the other side and boom your micro switch will fall right out the top of the button and so there's the micro switch out of the button uh, do the same thing on one of your good buttons and just you know take off one of the macros um, and drop the uh, the micro switch back in and let's see here and to do that it really just goes right inside the button look on the bottom side line it up push it through and then you see you'll take your cap make sure that the uh, little tabs here are lined up with the holes that you poked it out of and let's see from the top side just uh, kind of get in there and push in on it and snap back into place and you're done.